What's going on, Mobility Simplified Weightlifters Nation? Uh, I am Dr. Corey Hoffner. If you're new to the group, uh, thank you for joining. If you're new to YouTube, thank you for subscribing and watching. Um, definitely watch through to the end. We have some kind of um, tips and tricks for you at the end if you stay tuned. Um, I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a strength and conditioning coach. And you know what I do in my business online is I work in virtual physical therapy and I help people um, reduce their kind of pain while improving their mobility, all done from home through a program. So what we're gonna talk about tonight is a really simple topic. Um, it gets mixed up all the time and it drives me so, so crazy. It's a simple fact of whether you should use knee sleeves or should you use knee wraps. And believe it or not, people think they're the same things and they're not. They're very, very different. One's for powerlifting, one's for Olympic weightlifting. We're gonna go over the details of kind of, you know, what each is and when they should be implemented and when they should be used and when they should not be used. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to list them down below. Uh, but let's start with knee sleeves first, right? What are knee sleeves? They're simple, really compression garments, right? They're like soft kind of neoprene material. Um, they slide right over your knee. They cover from the top of the knee, right? So they kind of cover from kind of here over the top of the quads, like two inches above the quads. They're kind of like below the tibial tuberosity, kind of right here, right? And all they do is they provide a little bit of kind of warmth to the joint, right? So if people feel like their knees are really cold, Maybe they have arthritis, they have a lot of grinding in their knees. They need something to help keep it warm, keep it stable. And if you're warm, research shows you're less prone to injury. Um, you know, the neoprene sleeves or the um, knee sleeves are gonna help keep it um, kind of locked in position and help you. And some actually believe that the physical sensation of wearing knee sleeves will actually help the athletes give them better awareness of their knee position while they're actually lifting and help improve their technique. I personally think that's BS. I don't think that's gonna help you. Um, if you think that it helps you and it actually does, then yeah, use knee sleeves. But you really don't need to use knee sleeves for a long period of time and you should not use them. Write this down if you have knee pain. If you have knee pain, knee sleeves are not gonna improve your pain. Um, you know, they're just gonna, they're not gonna worsen things, but they're not gonna improve anything. It's a waste of money for that. You need to find out why you have knee pain. And that you find that out by whether getting imaging, going to an orthopedic doctor, or seeing a physical therapist or a chiropractor get an actual assessment done. Okay, so that is the short and dirty for knee sleeves, okay? So just remember they're neoprene material, they just really provide warmth to the joint. And you know, we're gonna go over like when you wear knee sleeves versus when you wear knee wraps, all right? So getting into knee wraps, knee wraps are very, very different than knee sleeves. Knee wraps are made from thick, thick polyester. And it's interwoven with rubber filaments. Typically, they help assist you and they give you mechanical advantage. They get you kind of out of the bottom of the squat a lot quicker than you would without them, okay? Because they're so thick, they provide like a spring to you. So they kind of like spring you out of the bottom of the squat, almost like if you were to do a squat jump. And if I had a rubber band, if I stretch them, it kind of stores all that kind of potential energy, and then it kind of releases it, which is when it becomes kinetic energy on the way up. So if you have issues getting out of the bottom of a squat, and your knees cave in a lot, a lot of times like wearing those nice kind of thick polyester, um, you know, knee wraps will help kind of push you out of the bottom of the squat. They should help you a lot in that. Okay, and there's two techniques often. Um, there's spiral technique and then there's figure eight technique. Spiral is literally just going kind of round and round. Figure eight technique is literally going like a figure eight. Um, research doesn't say one's better than the other. They kind of both are the same. Um, they both give you that mechanical advantage of getting you out of the bottom of the squat into the ascent. Okay, giving you that spring like kind of a boost that sometimes you need to kind of get to the top of the squat. Um, but I will say, I wrote this down right from a book that I just read, is research shows that kind of wearing the knee wraps will actually lead to 20% more speed out of the bottom. So like I mentioned, it's going to give you that spring effect. So it's really going to help you boost that. And they really recommend only wearing knee wraps when you're training for your heaviest sessions. Okay, you don't wear them every time you lift because they actually can potentially bad. And we're going to go over that in a second. But you want to wear them during your heaviest training sessions, like I just mentioned, or during powerlifting meets. Okay, those should be the only kind of two times you're kind of messing with knee wraps. Um, otherwise, they can lead to potential damage, if we're going to talk about. All right. Um, so again, just to kind of reiterate, knee wraps are worn in powerlifting, right, but not in Olympic weightlifting. All right, and the reason why is because they can be too restricting because they're so thick. They can restrict your range of motion and they really affect people the most when they're kind of catching at the bottom when they're receiving the barbell of a snatch and clean movement right so if you're snatching and cleaning and you have those thick kind of interwoven knee wraps on 
Um, it's going to be hard because it's going to restrict your movement a lot. It's going to be hard to kind of receive the barbell without kind of your knees collapsing or getting stuck in the bottom of the position. Um, all right, so I'm going to say that again. Knee wraps are worn in powerlifting, but Olympic, not in Olympic weightlifting, right? So you should not wear them if you're Olympic weightlifting. It's kind of like a cheat code if you are, right? So it's not really allowed. They won't really let you do that. Um, and then knee wraps, right? You're wearing them sparingly as well, like I just mentioned before. Because what they actually do, why like I said they could be potentially bad, they're not really bad, but um, they make you kind of squat with different form. If you have tight knee wraps on, they're going to make you squat with more upright form, um, which is good for some people, but a more upright squat is going to shut down your powerful glutes, your hip extensor muscles from fully functioning. So that means you're going to develop weak glutes over time because you're going to be kind of using more of your quads. So if you're in a more upright squat, you're going to become more quad developed, right? The quads are going to be huge, glutes are going to be weak, and that's not good. If you're powerlifting or an Olympic weightlifter, something you want to kind of avoid as you kind of go through time, okay? Um, so just to recap, that is knee wraps versus knee sleeves. Again, knee sleeves are only to be worn like when you don't have pain and you want to kind of keep the muscles nice and warm, right? They should not be used if you have pain to mask that pain, okay? And knee wraps, a little bit different. They're gonna help boost you out of the bottom of the squat. They're gonna give you that extra spring-like energy to assist you when you're lifting super heavy. They should only be worn when you're doing your heaviest lifts right before like a big kind of meet, okay? Um, and again, knee wraps are only worn in Olymp uh, powerlifting, excuse me, I'm gonna confuse myself, not in Olympic lifting, right? Because they can actually be detrimental and kind of restrict your movement, especially if you're catching at the bottom of the snatch and clean, all right? Um, so that is it for in short for tonight, right? Really short one, right? Knee wraps versus knee sleeves. If you guys have any specific questions on brands or anything, list them down below in the comments. And I'm happy to kind of link you to some better brands that I use or I offer my clients. Um, you know, not everyone is, you know, should use knee wraps or knee sleeves. Some people don't need them. Again, they can become detrimental if they're masking pain and you just wear them and you think that they help and they're actually making things worse, right? I always recommend getting assessed. Um, so definitely think about it before you buy them. Think about it, um, getting assessed correctly before you actually move into them. Um, all right, so that is it for tonight. Thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're just watching for the first time. We do this every week. Um, if you want to see any other topics, especially around the knee joint, because we're heavily going to focus on that this month, um, please list a comment down below. And uh, yeah, we look forward to hearing from you. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your night. Take care.